Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see, we just talked about some units of measurement, um, and we spent a lot of time talking about a derived unit called volume. And uh, to find the volume of a rectangular shaped object, we learned that you multiply the length, width, and height together. Um, we talked about the concept of the uh, cubic decimeter, and that it's the same thing as a liter, and that there are uh, 1,000 milliliters in a liter, and since a milliliter is the same as a cubic centimeter, there are 1,000 cubic centimeters in a liter as well. Remember that a milliliter and a cubic centimeter represent the exact same volume. Okay, let's talk about some metric conversions. Uh, we will do some conversions involving just the metric system. <coughs> This process that we're going to learn today is called dimensional analysis, or factor label method. Um, it's the only way you're going to succeed in this class. This is the first time we'll use it. This year you'll probably refer back to this video time and time again um, to recall how to do dimensional analysis. It's a very important concept. Even if you think you can do the problem in an easier way, or just do it in your head. Don't do that. Resist that temptation. Learn the method with simple problems so that when things become a little bit more difficult you can rely upon this method to solve some rather complex problems. So let's start with converting 4.75 grams into milligrams. Now I've given you a little help here on the side of our notes and the same thing is in your manual. Uh, this is from, I believe, page 29 of your textbook, where we have um, some prefix meanings. You can see that in one gram there are a billion nanograms. Uh, ten to the ninth is the same as a billion. In a gram there are a million or ten to the sixth micrograms. In one gram there are a thousand or ten to the third milligrams. In a gram there are one hundred centigrams and in a gram there are 10 decigrams. Now I just said that for grams, but the same thing is true if I had used the base unit meter, liter, or second. So in other words, if I had one second, there would be 10 to the ninth nanoseconds. Then we have prefixes that mean something bigger than one. For instance, a, dec a decagram is the same as 10 grams. A hectogram is a hundred grams, a kilogram is a thousand grams, and a megagram is ten to the sixth or a million grams. You'll be using this table quite a bit and it should be memorized very, very soon. It's your responsibility to take the time and put forth some effort in learning the meaning of these prefixes if you want to be successful. Once again, the math is not hard. We are adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. That's it you have to put some effort in to memorizing a few things and one of those things would be the meaning of some of these prefixes. Alright, well to convert 4.75 grams to milligrams we start out with what I give you 4.75 grams we multiply by a conversion factor. Now in that conversion factor we're going to put the unit we want to get out of on the bottom and the unit we'd like to get into on top. Then we are going to put the number 1 by the bigger of the two units. So what's bigger, a gram or a milligram? Well, a gram is bigger. And then we're going to put its meaning on top. So we're going to look over here. In one gram, there are 10 to the third milligrams. So I'm going to put 10 to the third milligrams on top. Now you'll notice that the unit gram divides out. Right When you divide something by itself, it cancels out. Then we have the unit milligram left over. Now we have the number 1000 or 10 to the third on top which means we multiply it by what we're starting with here. So my answer would be 4.75 times 10 to the third which is 4750 or if you'd like 4.75 times 10 to the third milligrams. Okay, our first conversion's done. Seems pretty simple, doesn't it? Why don't you try uh, the next one? Take a second and try to convert 89.43 liters into nanoliters. And you can use your conversion factors over here.
take a second and try it. If you need to pause the video, go ahead. All right, let's see how you did. We put the unit liter on the bottom. That's what we want to get out of. We want to get into nanoliters. Now, what's bigger, a liter or a nanoliter? Well, a liter's bigger, so we'll put the number one by it. So if I have one liter, I have 10 to the ninth nanoliters. So I'm going to put 10 to the ninth on top. The unit liter divides out. Now, if you really want to, you can use your calculators here. Let me show you how to use them again. Turn this on and clear it out. Since 10 to the ninth is on top, I'm going to multiply by it. So 89.43 times 10 to the ninth. I'm going to show you how to use a new button today. I will hit 89.43. We're going to multiply that by 10 to the ninth. So we're going to hit 10. 10. Now we're going to use this little rooftop symbol. It's called the caret key. Caret key 9. So your view screen should look like that. We'll hit enter, and we end up with a number in scientific form 8.943e to the 10. Well, that is 8.943 times 10 to the 10 nanoliters. Now, some of you might have a good question. You might be saying, Mr. Hummer, what about significant figures? You only have one significant figure here and here. Why do you have four in your answer? Well, kiddos, these are definitions. And do you remember how many sig figs definitions have? That's right, infinite. So my conversion factor here has infinite sig figs. So the number of sig figs in my answer depends upon what I'm starting with here. Since this has four, and I'm multiplying or dividing, my answer can have four. Okay, let's try the next example. Let's go from 3.44 times 10 to the fourth seconds to megaseconds. And I don't give you a little help, any help here, so once again you can pause the video and try this on your own, and then start it up again after you're finished. See how you did. Okay, let's see how you did. 3.44 times 10 to the fourth seconds. We're going to multiply by a conversion factor. Did you put seconds on the bottom? The unit you want to get out of goes on the bottom. And megaseconds on top. Now we need to put a number one somewhere. We always put the number one by the bigger unit. What's bigger, second or megasecond? Well, megasecond is bigger. A megagram, or in this case a megasecond, is the same as 10 to the sixth seconds. So I'm going to put 10 to the 6 on the bottom. Well, we can see that seconds divide out. And this time, 10 to the 6 is underneath. When it's on the bottom, I press divided by instead of multiplied by. So here we go. 3.44. Now we're going to hit second EE to the 4th. So your view screen looks like that right now. And now we're going to divide by, divided by, 10 carat key 6. So that's what your view screen looks like. We'll hit enter and it says 0 0.0344. So my answer is 0 0.0344 megaseconds. Boom. We're done. It's not that bad, is it? Let's practice some more. Let's see, we have a whole page full. And then I'm going to give you lots of opportunities to do this in class, and perhaps, if you're lucky, for homework as well. Alrighty, 55.82 micrometers to kilometers. Now this is going to take two steps, because we have a prefix that we're starting with, and we're ending up with a prefix. Whenever that happens, it's going to take two steps. So my first step will be going from micrometers to my base unit, meters. Now, meter is bigger than micrometer, and we can look at the previous page to see uh, micrometers are, well, this is grams to micrograms, but it's the same as if it were meters to mic micrometers. So in one meter, there are 10 to the sixth micrometers. So we will put 10 to the sixth here. So in my first step, we're going to divide by a million, or 10 to the sixth. So we have 55.82 
divided by 10, caret key 6, enter, and I have 5.582 times 10 to the negative fifth meters. I'm not done. I have meters. Remember, I want to get to kilometers. So now I need to take this answer, 5.582 times 10 to the negative fifth meters. Now we want to hop out of meters and into kilometers. A kilometer is bigger than a meter. Let's see what it means. Let's see, we have kilograms and grams, which is just like kilometers and meters in this case. One kilometer is 10 to the third meters. So one kilometer is 10 to the third or a thousand meters. So now we're going to divide by a thousand here. So if you want, you can pull out your calculator. I still have my previous answer in there, and I just want to divide that by a thousand. So I'm going to press divided by 10 caret key 3, enter, and we have 5.582 times 10 to the negative 8. 5.582 times 10 to the negative 8 kilometers. And that's my final answer. Now we usually don't break it up into two separate and distinct steps here. We usually do it as one expression. So let me show you how to do that. And you'll get really good at this as the year goes on. Um, we're going to plug in our conversion factors. Remember, 1 meter was the same as 10 to the 6 micrometers. So micrometers divide out, and I don't calculate yet. Then I hop out of meters and get into kilometers. 1 kilometer is the same as 1,000 or 10 to the third meters, and meters divide out. So you can see I'll first divide by 10 to the sixth, and then 10 to the third. All you math kids know that that's really dividing by 10 to the ninth, but we'll plug it in separately just for fun. So here we have 55.82 divided by 10 caret key 6. Don't get an answer yet. Press divided by again because it's still on the bottom. 10 caret key 3, enter. And you'll see it says 5.582 times 10 to the negative 8, which is the same answer that we got just a moment ago. Now this is about as hard as it gets. If you can do this example, you can do just about any that I'll give to you. Okay, let's do another one. Example 10. Why don't you try going from 0 0.0075 decigrams to hectograms. Now, it's going to take two steps because we have two prefixes, deci and hecto. Whenever you have two prefixes, it's going to take two steps. So pause this and then come back and see how you did. Okay, we're back. A gram is bigger than a decigram. And you can see that in a gram, where is it? There we go, there are 10 decigrams. So one gram has 10 decigrams. So decigrams are gone. Then we're going to go from grams to hectograms. And a hectogram is bigger here. And what does it say? One hectogram is 100 grams. So one hectogram is the same as 100 grams. So grams divide out, and we are in hectograms. So it looks like we're going to divide by 10 and then by 100, which is the same as dividing by 1,000. But let's just do it in our calculator anyway. 0 0.0075 divided by 10, divided again by 1,000, enter. We end up with 7.5 times 10 to the negative 7 hectograms. Okay. Once again, if the number's on the bottom, we divide by it. If it's on top, which we haven't had for a while, but if it does end up on top, we'll end up multiplying by it. Let's do one more, and we'll call it good for this session. We'll convert picoliters to attoliters. So pico to atto. So We'll put picoliters on the bottom. We'll put liters on top. It's going to take two steps. Then we're going to go from liters to atoliters. Now, 
I don't give you all these conversion factors. Take a look. Oh, wrong page. Let's find the right page. I don't see picoliters or attoliters here, so I have to give you a little bit more help. I do give you this right here. An attoliter is 10 to the negative 18th liters. So a liter is bigger. Now this is tricky. I put the number 1 by the unit that's bigger. Remember, an attoliter is really, really tiny, 10 to the negative 18th of a liter. That means I need 10 to the 18th to make up a liter. What about picoliters and liters? Well, a liter is bigger, and pico is 10 to the negative uh, 12th. So that means there's 10 to the 12th picoliters in a liter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by 10 to the 12th and then multiply by 10 to the 18th, which most of you know is the same as multiplying by 10 to the 6th. Picoliters are gone, liters are gone. We'll end up with attoliters. So 8.774 divided by 10 carat key 12. It's on the bottom, I divide by it. And then times 10 carat key 18. Enter. We end up with, well, that's not a very pretty number. 8774000. Which is 8.774 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 atoms. And there you have it. Okay? Thanks for coming. Bye bye.